Oscar Golf 8 Zulu Portable. Uh, Oscar Golf 8. Oscar Golf number 8 Zulu Portable Station. QSL? Oscar Golf 8 Zulu Portable 591062. Roger, Roger. You are also 59001. QSL? You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Welcome back, guys. Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November here from Survival Tech Nord. As promised in the last video, in this video we'd be doing a portable ham radio field test of our ham radio battery pack. CQDX, CQDX. Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November, stroke Papa. Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango, November, stroke Papa. CQDX. As you might imagine, I've been out testing with the ICOM IC705 and the 2.5 amp hour battery pack several times over the past few weeks. Now, just to give you a short recap, the entire point of this 2.5 amp hour lithium iron phosphate pack is ultra portable power for short deployments. I've coupled the 2.5 amp hour battery pack with the Guinnesson GV5 mod charge controller. You can see they're an extremely small package. So with the 2.5 amp hour lithium iron phosphate pack, the Guinnesson GV5 mod charge controller and the 60 watt power film solar panel are combined we have quite an effective, lightweight and portable, portable power go kit. Now, despite the small battery capacity, as long as the 60 watt solar panel was connected to the charge controller, I was able to remain on air even while using the amplifier driven at one to two watts for a couple of hours at a time. This is more than enough operating time to activate a summit, SOTA summit, uh, to activate parks on the air, to do a world flora and fauna activation, or to do a WinLink Wednesday check-in. I suppose the point here is efficiency. Keep in mind, radios like the ICOM IC705, the Lab 599TX500, or the Elecraft KX2 or KX3 have a very low transmit and receive overhead. What this means is, when using these ultra-efficient portable radios, our external portable power requirements are quite modest. This is especially important when we're operating MAN Portable. Let's take a look at a couple of the QSOs I've made MAM Portable with this setup. Oscar Golf number 8, Zulu Portable Station, QSL. Roger, Roger. You are also 59001. QSL? Uh, Roger, number one, thank you. Sierra 52, whiskey, whiskey. Field day, Sierra 5, full Italy portable, CQ field day. Oscar Golf 8 Zulu portable. Oscar Golf 8 Zulu portable, thank you. You are 59784. Thank you very much, sir. 59002, QSL? 002 in my lock, 73, sir. Good luck. 73, good luck. Bye bye. Bye, Oscar Hotel number 8, Sierra Tango November, stroke Papa, QSL. Oscar Hotel Number Eight, Sierra Tango November, Stroke Papa. Roger, Oscar Henry Eight, Sierra Tango November, Stroke Portival, U five nine three four seven three four seven. Roger. One hundred percent. You are also five nine zero zero three QSL. Number three is QSL. Thank you, Lima Zulu One, Quebec November, Portival Field Day Contest. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed those QSOs. They were all done sequentially with the battery pack and my 60 watt power from solar panel powering the ICOM IC705. Now, I've also tested with the X5105 from Zygu, the G90, the Yezu FT817ND, which is essentially the same as the Yezu FT818, and of course, the Zygu X6. 100. All of them work wonderfully with this small pocket solar generator. Now, the most important thing to remember here, guys, is that uh, we're trying to achieve some level of mobility. Uh, it's ridiculous to carry around a battery pack, which is actually larger than our radios. If our radios require such a large battery pack, then we're probably carrying the wrong radio. This is a fact, and there's no getting around it. If we're hiking, if we're riding a bike, if we have limited carrying capacity or limited space, we always want to try to reduce the size and weight of our portable power supplies. We also want to ensure we have the most efficient radios we can have when we're operating out in the field. Operating high power even doesn't mean we have to have a large current overhead. Radios like my old FT891, I loved that radio, but the efficiency was abysmal. It's the same thing with the Yezu 991 Alpha or the ICOM 7300. Radios like that are not designed for the field, or perhaps they are designed for the field if you happen to have a diesel generator with you. But if you're trying to power something from solar power, if you're trying to operate sustainably in the field, you really need to go the most efficient way possible. That's going to be the ICOM IC705, the Elecraft KX2, KX3, the Lab 599TX500, the Zygu G90, the FT818, and the X6100. You know, there's also this MCHF, but I don't have that radio yet, so I really can't test it, but I believe it's going to be... Never mind, I'm rambling. So, mobility, efficiency. This is what we're trying to achieve. Let's not get trapped in this lead-acid battery mindset. We don't need to carry around 10 amp-hour batteries, 20 amp-hour batteries, if we're only going to be operating uh, for short periods of time or operating an ultra-efficient radio. We just don't need so much power. The reason I can say this is because it's easier to carry a lightweight folding solar panel. Yes, I know it's expensive, but it's easier to carry a lightweight portable solar panel than to carry a larger, heavier battery pack. Folding solar panels weigh less than bigger battery packs. Keep that in mind. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. The next video that's coming out will be a uh, actually a large battery pack. We're going to do a portable solar generator uh, with a 24 amp hour battery from Gigaparts. And that should be really interesting for contesters, for DXers, uh, for anyone who wants to get a big station out in the field and operate all day long uh, with a single power supply. So stay tuned for that. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.